Oh, hello, my cutie pies. Okay, cool. We're doing a mic today. Except um, my, my clip fell somewhere. I don't fucking know where it is. Anywho, if you hear Spudgy licking her paws in the background, don't, don't ignore it. She's got really itchy paws right now. Anywho. So, you guys, I really want to do mukbangs. But to be honest with you, I'm the good little meatball. Oh, oh. Um, that's Odin. Odin's the one, the fluffier one. People get them confused because they're both small if they're not side by side. He's the fluffier one, and he's the one with one eye. His name is Odin before he lost his eye. I'm so sorry for predetermining that destiny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, you guys, I want to do mukbangs, but truthfully, I don't really know what mukbangs are, okay? I, I really just, like, get, like, a little hint of what something is and kind of decide what the word is for myself, okay? So let me tell you what's inspired me to start these. First, I love watching those, like, Asian foods where they eat a lot of Asian, like, style sweets and whatever, but loads of it. I'm like, damn, how do they do that? Um, now I know it's, a lot of it's fake, but there are people who do it for real for reals. Um, like, who, what's her name? Jelly Roll? Jelly Bean Sweets? Um, I think Jelly Roll is that dude, right? Um, so, like, I don't watch their content, but I see it on my free page from time to time, and people are talking about them, of course. Um, keep doing your thing, girl. Um, and who cares if she's gaining weight? First off, she's cute. That's, like, all I see is, like, speculation about that. Like, who... Who fucking cares? I mean, they do. I don't fucking know why. Anywho, like, what if that was her goal? You guys are just, like, <laughs> helping. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I wish I could eat like that. I really do. Because if I did, I would not be able to walk the next day or move my body, all right? So I've got to start healthy. We're still healing my gut. So if you're new here, I have a severe autoimmune illness. I've had it since I was six. And, um... It's rheumatoid arthritis, but at this point in my life, I think it's just really severe mold toxicity that's manifesting as rheumatoid arthritis. I think a lot of people have this, but it manifests as different symptoms, asthma, stuff like that. Um, diabetes, PCOS, POTS, lupus. That's just a theory of mine. Anyway, so I've tried every medicine and nothing works. And the more I learn about this medicine, of course, if I had a mold toxicity problem, of course it wouldn't work. So the medicine just shuts down my immune system and it just allows bacteria to any kind of shit to breed in my body like tenfold. So I get sick really easy. Um, so at this point, I'm learning to take control of my health and doing the holistic and trusting my gut and eating more intuitively. So I can't really eat fast food until my my joints are healed. I'm having some issues with my joints being swollen right now because the meds are actually giving me an allergic reaction, which isn't anything new. You, the last meds literally sent me to the ER. This is what I mean about the guinea pig lifestyle. That's kind of what it is. So that's why I'm like, okay, holistic. I might as well do the same thing but with food. I trust the food can heal because I've seen it. The garlic has done wonders by me. So, and the Greek yogurt. So um, the point that I'm getting at is since I've been on this journey, I've been reading a lot and I've been learning about fermentation and how other cultures ferment their food and eat a lot of probiotics and stuff. And that's why they don't deal with as much issues and also their stuff isn't as refined and whatever so like back in the day we used to have ketchup and mustard that was like fermented and dressings were made with greek yogurts and stuff like that um because of good probiotics the good bacteria to fight the bad bacteria in your gut because the gut is like the center of everything i'll talk about that a lot in my channel so you'll hear that a lot um not just here on youtube i just talk about that everywhere i just anyone who can hear who has the same kind of symptoms or just any kind of you know it doesn't hurt to try to detox from that stuff so it even i feel like causes more adhd symptoms in myself um but ketchup and mustard used to be fermented but now because we're more of a business type america you know um society what do they call it? like a cryptocracy or something like that where it's like run by a hidden like small business or like large business people um but Pretty much that's what it is so we've gone the cheaper alternative which is not just sugar it's like concentrated sugar so if you're predisposed spudgy no if you're predisposed to anything like myself and then you're exposed to mold or anything like that then you know this food is just going to make that worse so if it were used it was like it used to be where it was fermented then it would be good 
But that's why I like Salad and Go. They use really great products, um, supplies and stuff like that. And I eat a lot of Greek yogurt. Me and the dogs go through a lot of Greek yogurt. Um, so I tasted their dressing one day and it was a little heavier on the Greek yogurt side. And I was like, no way they use Greek yogurt in their dressings. I was so pleasantly surprised because of, you know, what I've been reading about. So also I hope this isn't too loud. If it is just turn your volume down. I'm so sorry. Um, but we're going to try every menu item on salad and goes menu. And I was actually introduced by BBDJ. Who's he's one of the peeps on the stream. So shout out to BBDJ. Um, I was introduced to him or from by him to another place called the Chop Shop. So once I finish every item on Salad and Go's menu, then we're going to move on to the Chop Shop, which they have like more whole grains like quinoa and stuff like that. So I really think that's just so perfectly appropriate for like um, – like the next part of my journey once once everything's like healed up and stuff i think i can slowly add in like you know oats and stuff like that um so let me tell you guys the salad that i have so i got the um i got the fajita salad and i think i got the barbecue ranch salad the barbecue ranch is my favorite um but salad and go they're very healthy they're very mindful and demure about their ingredients um, super awesome. Have you guys heard the drama with Jules? I just love that things are working out in her favor. After that dude tried to swipe her. It reminds me of an episode of Kitchen Nightmares where like people were doing that in the town and some lady who owned a restaurant came in and like scooped up that word or like that phrase and trademarked it. And the people were pissed. Like the whole town, they refused to go to the restaurant. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> Anyway, because, uh, like, then nobody's going to use it. People are, like, that's, you know. Anyway, very demure of her, not him. Anywho, what I got was a fajita salad. If you care, it's 340 calories. I really don't care about calories, but it's got steak in it and avocado, poblano peppers, red peppers, black beans. I have to kind of, like, I don't want to be too loud, so I'm trying to, like, do a hush tone. And I don't know if mukbangs are, like, about talking quiet. I think I'm confusing ASMR. But I know the point of it is like the ASMR aspect. So you'll get that. Okay. I'll shut the fuck up here in a minute. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Black beans, pico de gallo, pepper, back, pepper jack cheese, and romaine. Fajita salad. Can I get... It's like a family guy reference. He's like, can I get like 5,000 fajitas, please? And I got the barbecue ranch. So let me go through the list of salads. Salads. So they got a Thai salad. I've had that before. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it again for the videos. Um, it, it's a good, healthy salad. Very healthy. Jalapeno ranch, Greek, buffalo chicken, roasted autumn, barbecue ranch, Caesar cob, vagina, caprice. Is it caprice? I don't know how you say that word. Sorry. Oh, I'm so white. It's disgusting. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I just hate the way I say words. And it's like awful because like I want to start learning languages. But when I say certain words, it's like so white sounding. And I feel like they think I'm just mocking them. And I'm like, you know what? Just shut the fuck up at this point. Anyway, vagina salad. <laughs> I can't do it too loud because I'm scared I'm going to hurt your guys' ears. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like. So you got steak bits. Not too much steak. I wish it did have a little more steak. But here's the thing that I've come to terms with with salad and goes salads there will always be lettuce left over i am more of a toppings heavy person i don't know about y'all i really like a salad with extra toppings like double the toppings as a matter of fact salad and go if you're watching this first off you're sexy secondly i hope you're having a good day thirdly um maybe just add an option to double the toppings instead of just doubling the meat do the prices whatever you need it just makes it more customer friendly and easy so Wait, what is on the, I want to read what's on the fajita salad. What is the dressing? Oh, jalapeno ranch dressing. Oh, I hope this isn't too spicy. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so freaking white. Ugh, brother, ugh. And here's the thing. Okay, we were talking about this yesterday. I got to post my Twitch stream. We did conspiracy theories last night. So um, I'm not a conspiracy theory nut, but once I've been going holistic, it's unfortunately turning me. 
Mm. Oh my God. Immediately, yes. Yes. This absolutely fucks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Salad and go, you did your thing. It's them rubbing their ass all over the lettuce, like that episode of South Park. Juicy and so delicious. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It literally tastes like a vagina. I was suspicious because I was like, what, you're just going to throw like beans and vagina steak on top of it? And call it good? You'll get some when I'm done. I got the manager over here. You guys can't see. So my husky mix, I don't know what he is. The guy said he was husky lab. Um, what else? Let's see his little nose. Um, husky lab, Akita, Sheba, and some other shit. And of course, like wolf. I'm like, every husky owner wants to believe their husky is part wolf. If you met beef, he is probably <laughs> he is not part wolf. <laughs> Anyway, so he's known as the manager on my stream. You'll get to know the dogs. Shredder is, he's right here by my side. He's hes the the very calm, mellow guy. He's very sweet. And then we got the two yappy ones, Odin in the back. Budgie over here. But this definitely tastes like a fajita. I was suspicious because I was like, mm, maybe it's going to not because, but like if you were craving fajitas, but you need to be eating salads, highly recommend. I can't be eating carbs because that's what feeds the, the parasites in me no but for real the carbs is what feeds the the mold mm. it's really good i hope you guys can hear how crunch crunchy it is Yeah, this one's really good. This is my first time having the fajita one. I've been here several times. I really enjoy it. I really like that it's an option. And it's only six bucks. This one was eight, I think. Closer to nine. But beef lay down, buddy. Thank you. Oh, look, it says right there. Our house-made dressings make our portions even more delicious. It's true. I like them even more because of the fact that they use like a healthier option, which is Greek yogurt. So good for your gut. It has good probiotics in it. This is legit one of my safe foods now, which is so nice. Because if you have an autoimmune illness, you know just how restrictive your diet has to be sometimes. You know, and sometimes I give in because I'm like, fuck it. Like, I'm already in pain. Like, what the fuck? I might as well have a goddamn cookie to make things a little better. <laughs> you know, so. I try to be as strict as I can. Of course, there's times when I have sugar, but it's not part of my daily diet. And it's so nice because I checked the nutrition on here. They don't use sugar at all. Like, usually dressings on the shelf have sugar added. So, it's really not needed, but it keeps that, like, addiction factor, like, that taste good factor. Because even the chicken nuggets at McDonald's has sugar in it. It just kind of triggers that same chemical thing that, like, cocaine does. I think that's a fact I read somewhere. Um, I don't remember where, so it could be wrong. If you have a salad and go near you, highly recommend. They even have a breakfast menu. So once we finish the salad portion of this, we're going to start the breakfast burritos. Um, you know, they have wraps, but I'm not really a fan of wraps because I don't like cold tortillas. I don't drive with that, dude. Then what? You heat it up so you have wilty... Hot lettuce? 
That's one reason why I don't like the McChicken is because the hot, wilty lettuce. Let me know if anyone agrees with that so I don't feel crazy. <laughs> I have to have very particular eating habits, though, because if you're new here, because if I eat sugar and stuff like that, it makes my joints flare. I've known that for a while, but I kind of know now because sugar is 100% what mold eats. And so is carbs. So I have to be on like a carb free diet right now. Um, and it's really difficult. I'm not going to lie because, God, do I love me some fucking potatoes. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. But my nuts hurt right now. I'm not going to lie. But I'm doing better than yesterday, so. Yeah. Anyway, you guys on YouTube, I think I'm going to stream for the first time, maybe on Friday or Saturday. So, feel free to hang out. I appreciate y'all just watching my videos. This is kind of like, you know how I always talk, if you watch my stuff, I always talk about, like for me, I mostly do things that only have like multiple reasons to do them. Um, and this is like cool because I can eat salad. I need to eat. Um, I've been so hungry lately since my appetite has been like increasing. Um, so um, this is like a good way to, for me to make content while just, I don't know, having fun. And where are the beans? Um, but yeah. Really, really, really like salad and go. Mm. They have a few other things, but... Let me figure. Let me not figure, but look up. Oh, that was spicy. I do. They have chicken pot pie soup. That sounds delicious. They have a protein box where it's just chicken or tofu or steak and, um, and any two salad ingredients. So you could get, they have a picture of a hard boiled egg and cucumber. Sounds perfect. And then their drinks, mango green tea, black tea, cucumber, mint, Arnold, Palmer. Mm. Cucumber, mint, lemonade, blueberry, basil, lemonade. They even have coffee, which I'm definitely going to have to try because I love coffee. But yeah, all the salads can be made into a wrap. I just, I don't love that idea. I might get one just for funsies, but I really know I don't like wraps. And I'm not going to force myself to eat something I don't like just for video sake. I don't like wasting food. Um... Especially when there's literally people right outside who could use that, you know. Which today I was going to salad and go and I saw the cops rolling around, on, not rolling around, but like driving around, around the park. Um, like harassing the homeless people. It's not funny, it's sad. Where do they go? Where do you want them to go? Yeah, this salad is really good. Honestly, if you if you got like some some nacho chips, it would be really good. But I know that defeats the purpose of carbs. <laughs> Beef is looking at me like, "What the fuck?" My fingers hurt so bad today. I'm only realizing now, right, when I'm using the chopsticks.
it's not bad bad but it makes like doing makeup and stuff like difficult even a fork would be difficult because i can't really close my fist very well or like my hand Yeah, this shit is so good, dude. I wonder if you guys can hear my stomach rumbling. I know it's right there. It keeps falling, so I'm just going to take it out. Oh yeah, as I was saying, we are talking about on my stream how I need to build my heat tolerance. And I try. I do. Banana peppers are spicy. Hot Cheetos are spicy. So I buy those and like eat like a handful of hot Cheetos. It's already too much. It's already too much. My mouth is burning. <laughs> I just, there's the beans. Whoa. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a good day today. Thanks for watching my, my silly video. I'm having fun, so I hope you're having fun. Oh, no, me, no. You can't see him, but he's right next to me. <laughs> Not right now. You'll get some when I'm done, bud. I know. I know you want some. I am very aware. <sighs> yeah, see? Just that. the jalapeno ranch and the poblanos are you kidding me i don't mind it it's like the perfect amount of heat to like clear sinuses you know Just a tingle. But I don't like my food to be painful. <laughs> Nailed it. So the fajita salad, I'll have to say, is one of the first salads I've eaten from here that actually has like a good mix of portion of ingredients with lettuce. Before it was too much lettuce. Like, not enough toppings. <laughs> I might eat this whole thing. We'll see.
I'll have to get like a little table so that you guys can see this. And I can sit up like this. I'm just starting. Okay, hang with me. <laughs> Bear with me for a bit. Sometimes you can't wait till you're ready. You just gotta start. I also know mukbangs are like a lot of food. I can eat a lot of food throughout the day, just not at once. You know? I don't know how they do it. I guess they edit it, but... I mean, I can just do a meal. Yeah? <laughs> uh. Bless you. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited for the holidays. I just think with my joints getting better. Also, today is day one of me getting off my new meds, which is not really what people want. I think that's what's causing that reaction. So I stopped taking them for the meantime just to see if I get better. My doctor did not want me to stop them. But the pharmacist told me I was having an allergic reaction the meds and it's weird to me that the doctor doesn't want me to stop and like i said i've been in the er before <sighs> because of these meds the meds before this literally sent me to the er because i had an allergic reaction within like 10 minutes so i'm just going to trust my body because <clears throat> i sit here and pay attention to literally everything my diet is so strict that I know what triggers it because I eat the same thing every day. It's so like when I ate those eggs, it did not help my situation because I should have ate grass fed eggs, not grain or corn fed, which matters if you're going through a mold detox. So, oh, I'm just going to trust my gut and first day off these meds. I feel good. I feel good, okay? I don't want to get too overhyped because we'll see how tomorrow I feel. I did have a coffee because I did feel good today and I'm like, okay, maybe I can, you know, go back to a little bit of normalcy here and not be so crazy strict with it. So, I do look forward to my smoothie tonight. I will be on stream tonight. I don't know if this will probably be uploaded after stream. You can always join me for my streams on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I don't really game much. If I do, I play the Lego games. Um, but I really do podcasts, and I just like to catch up with people. I don't really have much going on. And, you know, I could do my yap sessions on there, which maybe I will. Maybe I'll talk about dating tonight and then talk, reiterate it in my videos, in my video tomorrow. So we'll see how I feel. Um, but, 
Yeah. Now, I don't, I'm not a dating guru, okay? I'm not saying anything of that. But I have so many people asking me for dating advice, and it's always the same. It's always the same. Focus on yourself. When you are ready, the right person will find you. And some people are like, I've been single for blah, blah, blah. But have you been mentally working on yourself? Have you been, like, really, you know, finding your pure happiness and not doing things out of ego and learning how to not do things out of ego, you know, done the emotional work? Because truly, that's what's going to attract a partner. Always the same thing. But that goes for guys and girls. I only preach that because that's what I do and that's what I believe. I think for a while, you're finding out what you don't want in a partner for the most part. Because you're not always going to strike it out immediately with someone, you know? And I think people expect the other to complete them so, so much that it's like a threat if you work on yourself. But when you work on yourself, that's where the growth and everything is. And you recognize that that person should also be working on themselves. And then you won't tolerate people who aren't like that. Although I'm not dating, I like to think that myself and everyone watching and anyone in the world deserves love. But a lot of us are like so thirsty for that love that we'll drink a cup of poison, literally. Like, you don't care. It's, it's still a form of love and you're going to chug it down. It doesn't matter how poorly it treats you. And you have to learn to say no to those cups and yes to ones that are legitimate water. Yes to people that support you and inspire you to be better. I don't think people are meant to die alone. I think if you really learn to love yourself, then you'll just exude love and learn to love everything about the world and you're just going to meet that person. You will. I just think that because I believe that about myself. Like, I think I'm a great person. I think I deserve to be with a loving partner. And I just trust that the universe will bring that when I'm ready. Right now, I have quite a few things I want to focus on. Anyway, oh, that was corn. Ugh. There's like a few pieces of corn in here. I don't know if they are supposed. To. Oh, it's part of the pico de gallo. I bet you. Some people put corn in pico, and I don't. I don't agree with that. I really don't. I don't like corn in my guacamole. I'm not much of a corn fan. I like I like the cob form. I love elotes. Um, I don't love it inside of things. Like that cowboy soup that my grandma used to make that I posted on YouTube. Um, that has corn in it, but that's one of the few things I like corn in. Well, this is about what's left. I'm pretty full. Whew, that was very good. I'm going to rate this salad. I think, okay, me personally, 9 out of 10. It would get a 10 or a 9.5 maybe. Okay. 
I'm going to take half a point away because some of the steak was a little chewy and half a point away because some of the just it was a little spicy for me. But those are very subjective. Right. So um, still really, really delicious, obviously. <coughs> so the next one we have is tomorrow. And it's a barbecue ranch. That one is my favorite. So that one's automatically a 10. But this was so good. Thank you, everyone who's been watching my shenanigans and sub into my stuff. Because you guys helped me get dinner. It's right there, Shutter. It's right there. Let me see. Let me give the dog some food and see if you guys can catch it on video or camera or the sound. Here's beef. He's like, what in the world? A tea, my son? A tea. Oops. You guys don't get to see her. And Odin. Okay. Anyway, I gotta get rid of fishing. Thanks for joining. I love y'all. Mm. Mm. We'll post some more videos tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Stay sexy. Know you're amazing. Oops, the mic is up there. Sorry. And yeah, sweet dreams. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for being wonderful. Okay, bye.